Volcano as well, a movie about a volcano. Back in the late 90s, with films like Independence Day and Twister coming out, Hollywood realized, hey, audiences will flock to the theaters to see movies about big things blowing up and big, huge disasters, hence the term the disaster movie. From that, in 1997, we had two movies about volcanoes. We had Dante's Peak and Volcano. And out of the two movies I thought was the best volcano movie, Volcano was that. And unironically, this movie, while it's really cheesy and it's really corny and there's some stuff in this movie that you can definitely criticize, it is late 90s cheese to its fullest extent. And the movie does have a bit of charm to it, going back to it. It's a pretty short movie too, it's about an hour and 44 and it gets started really quickly. You get a brief introduction to these characters, and you really get to figure out who they are, and what the plot is, and what's going on. But you basically just get thrusted into what you've came to this movie to see, which is a giant volcano erupting in the middle of LA, which is what this movie is about. We have Tommy Lee Jones in this, who plays this person who's from a small town, he wants to get things done his way, and he has to go buy the book, and he's at a desk job now, he has a daughter that he's trying to take care of, he's divorced, he meets this person, this geographical scientist lady named Anne, because she goes down to investigate what's going on with all this hotness that's going on. And from there, we find out it's a volcano, or it's lava, that is being, a, that's a, the underneath all of LA and it's going to erupt and we got to figure out a way to stop it and that's one of my favorite things about this movie it's just really it's a weird time because the first like 20 minutes all character stuff basically what you would expect from a disaster movie and it's pretty well handled I kind of really do like the dialogue in this movie a lot in the first 20 minutes Later, the dialogue just becomes what you'd expect, is screaming and yelling and, oh my god, it's a volcano. But in the first 20 minutes, it is more or less just human dialogue. And Tom Lee Jones, an actor who, typically speaking, isn't the most enthusiastic person in the world. He's about on the level with Harrison Ford in that sense. Here, he is really good in this movie, I thought at least. He really does sell that he is this part. He cares about this stuff. He wants to get these things figured out. He wants to help people, most importantly. And his attitude towards that is really well handled in this movie. I thought there's a scene where you have to move this giant truck. And it's really cool because he's basically giving a pep talk to these people. He's basically giving pep talks to this whole movie to these firefighters and these police officers. Being like, we got to stop this thing. And it's really, it's really well handled. The main female scientist person in this movie, Anne, is also a pretty well-rounded character, I thought. She is what you'd expect from a late 90s female protagonist to where she's capable, but she isn't devoid of personality either, which is what a lot of characters from that time, well, female characters, were in a way. They just didn't really have a ton of personality going on. Here, she has personality, and it's really fun to watch. She's a very entertaining actress in this movie, and she has some very good chemistry with Tom Lee Jones they don't necessarily get together in this movie even though there's a brief line about mentioning about how she likes him in the beginning when her friend asks her but most of this movie they're just working together doing their job trying to figure this thing out and it really does work for what the movie's going for it's not perfect by any means but it is a much more interesting and compelling idea for a movie than just oh we're just gonna slam these two people together because why not I guess and that's kind of what you were afraid of with this movie, with these kind of movies, is they really love throwing these two people who should not be together together. And even though these two characters don't get together in this movie, you really do feel like they have chemistry and they work well off each other. It's a really good dynamic. And we also have a great dynamic with the character of Emmett in this movie being played by Don Cheadle. He is this first person who wants Tom Lee Jones' job and he's trying his best to get it. And but that all gets halted by the volcano, and it's a pretty funny plot in the first 20 minutes of this movie. It really does work, and Don Cheeto is great in this. The volcano effects in this movie, which is what you come here for, is really well done too. It really looks great, at least in my opinion, it did. It doesn't look incredible by any means. I mean, 
we've had better volcano effects since or lava effects since but it really does work and it builds the tension because there's some really good scenes in this movie like with this worker who's trying to save this person jumps across the volcano ends up falling into the lava and he just dies just instantly but he saves the person and that's all that matters and it's a really well done scene even though he would immediately burn up there would not be nobody there because volcanoes and lava are scary i've always been afraid of lava which is probably why i enjoy this movie a lot and to some extent in dante speak um when i was a little kid lava was the scariest thing to me because it's just an instant death like fire there's at least a 10 percent chance you can be saved from that if it doesn't spread and if the burns aren't too severe. With lava, you are instantly gone. You are just out of the picture. Bye. See you later. It is a very scary idea to have. And putting that in the middle of a city like this. Where people, where there's homes. And where there's stores. And just daily life. The movie at the beginning does do a great job of capturing daily life. Because it shows how that contrast with what happens when the volcano. Or when a and any form of lava gets introduced into that because it just instantly holds everything. Because why wouldn't it? And the scientific explanations in this movie doesn't make a ton of sense. It's mainly just babble just to make the audience shut up and take the movie more seriously. But it still doesn't make much sense as someone who has looked into scientific stuff before. And he was pretty into science like myself. It it just it's it's a weird explanation for why all this is happening. But hey, it's a movie from the late 90s. I can't be too mad at it. It has some weird undertones of racial stuff in this movie, which I don't know what they were going for with that, but it was it just didn't really work for me. I mean, the idea of working together, that's cool, but everything else was just felt really heavy-handed and forced and kind of drugged the movie down a little bit from being this fun movie to then... Oh, now we're talking about a very serious topic in this dumbass volcano movie. Um, alright, I guess we're doing that now. But, again, Keith David's a cop in this. He's pretty good. I like him in this movie. Here's the thing. The movie's not perfect. It's not a great film any means. But it's one of the better di disaster movies from the 90s. Much better from what we got later on. And it could have been better. There's some stuff that's really forced and heavy handed in this movie. But I really do like the characters for the most part. Tom Lee Jones, Jones' daughter and this is probably not the best, but everyone else works. I really had a fun time with Volcano and I'll give it a B minus.